Hello, many of you already heard about general AI chat GPT. Uh, also, it can be used for code uh, generation. So let's try to use it for code, specifically scripting in Python for SysML simulation. We just got one question from the client uh, just today about uh, uh, parametric constraints, how to create constraint which would multiply all inputs independently from number of inputs that we would not need to create uh, five, four, three parameters uh, uh, constraint blocks. Um, so that would be input as array, right? And uh, multiply all of array members and then get result. Uh, so let's request that script from ChatGPT, write Python script performing multiplication of all single dimensional array members. So here we have this uh, script and uh, let's copy that and let's go here and let's create a, a block, say A, let's create a parametric equation, it's my equation here, for example, or maybe not like this, but uh, tools uh, parametric equation will be array input uh, and uh, will be uh, also result those variables I, I want to have right they are real so not so convenient in any case I will replace them with integer properties uh, replaced uh, Integer. And now I have the script here, uh, which shall be language Python, and I will paste the script here. Okay, so I have uh, input, which will come as array. So here, instead of this predefined array, I will put like array input, right, this one, and then result will come here. So for the input, I need multiplicity to be many. I want to have uh, as many inputs as I want. That's it. And now I, uh, I want to have a few more value properties. So it will be array as the input integer with the multiplicity many. That will be connected here. And then result will go again to the result integer multiplicity is, is one so here we have result so i have this setup here and now if i will execute run and uh, array had no values okay so let's add some values let's add values values let's do like two let's add another value let's do like uh, five and then let's see result still failed let's see what is the problem here Okay, let's add now value, let's say five. Let's add another one, will be two. And you see now it works. So there was something wrong with the syntax for that print, but in general, as you see, script is already working correctly. And uh, if I will add another value here, and one more value, one more, Four, one more nine. I think maybe it checks uniqueness, right? For example, if I will try to add two, oh, it's still okay. Uh, and here we have result. And now we can save all that as an instance. Here we have it. And now this instance is the input. So next time I want to simulate this one, 
I don't need to create those variables manually. I just have this instance here with results. So I can go simulation run, yes. And I have all inputs. I can save now, you know, like add a few other values uh, uh, and change the input and then save as a new instance, let's say, or existing instance. Now we have two instances as you see here. So that's how we can leverage the chat GPT for the code uh, scripting in uh, one of the supported languages for the SML simulation. Really convenient.